Look at that one. Beautiful fish. What's up YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. The purpose of today's video is I'm going to be showing you some good tips and tricks of how to catch some carp in the later winter uh, season. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that with your pack bait. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so we're going to be showing you how to use the uh, pack bait effectively in the winter time. We're going to be using big chunks of uh, pack bait around your method feeder. I find this can really be effective because um, other fish are probably going to be nitpicking at your pack bait anyways, but if you have a bigger one, it could still have enough to have for the carp to come around. So I was using this strategy last last month where I caught five carp um, in the month of February, even early last year early in the season, late winter, early, early spring, I was catching a ton of carp using this exact same method. So I'm going to show you how to put a big, big chunk of bait onto your method feeder. You know, some people don't use a lot, a lot of bait, but um, I'm going to show you how to do it here. All right, so we're going to do big balls here. Big chunks of um, pack bait under your method feeder here. Cover up the whole method feeder and making a big ball. And there's different sizes of the method feeder, so we're using a relatively bigger one. This is the Corda bait up method, and this is the biggest method feeder they got. So as you can see, I'm kind of molding around my feeder here, covering up every little Every little thing of that black method feeder, or I can all I, all I want to see is just the pack bait. Put a little bit more here on the bottom. All right. Okay. So once you got your ball on together, there, put your hook bait. We're using three pieces of Nectar of the Gods flavor from Linear Bait. They call it Nectar of the Gods for a reason. It's very effective, nice fruity flavor. All right. We are gonna cast this one out. And then for our second rod, we're going to be using three pieces of Nog uh, Tiger Nuts. We're using the big heaps of pack bait here. Oh, a little windy today. Camera's really falling over there. Gonna give this one a cast. Okay. Alrighty. into something here. Uh-oh. Ah, it's hanging on my 
another rod. This one's also hugging to the bottom here. Feels good. Feels like a piece of one. big one here. Got him. All right. Just caught our first carp. This is a nice one. This one's going to go 20 pounds. Beautiful fish. I'm gonna release this one. All right, guys, we're gonna release this 20 pound carp. Okay. All righty. There she goes. Back into the depths. Using the bigger chunks can really be effective, um, especially if you don't know where the carp are. And it's really also really good in the fact that you don't really necessarily need to pre-bait your area. If you use a big enough chunk, uh, there's enough for everybody, um, for the fish. So I appreciate you watching this video. Give a thumbs up, like, subscribe if you haven't. I do a lot of carp videos. Go check them out and check out Linear Bait. Uh, products for carp bait, linearbaitco.com. You will not be disappointed in their products. It's all I use. It's been very productive for me. And um, I hope it will be productive for you. And as always, keep fishing tight lines, and we'll see you next time on Top Tactic Fishing. Take care.